Hi everyone, uh, uh, David here, and today I'm going to introduce you to uh, an AI tool called uh, Brandmark. Okay, you can see the URL there, brandmark.io, and this is a very interesting little tool, uh, which I only came across yesterday. So we're going to kind of um, learn together here, all right? So first of all, let me uh, let me show you exactly how I found it. Okay, it was actually done through another website called name, uh, namelix.com uh, And this was a business name generator great little piece of kit Highly recommend you go and try that one out as well, but let's go and play with brand mark uh, this morning and um, see what we can do now most people who come along to a website um, that's going to create a logo for you First thing you want to know is how much is this going to cost me? So let, let's do that in the first instance. Okay, let's go to the pricing modules Okay, so brand mark choose the right package for your brand Okay, so 25 bucks one time one time payments. So they're all one-time payments, which I think is great Okay, because then you can go back and use it again and again and again 25 bucks will just get you logo files in PNG format. Okay The designer side of things do a little bit more so they'll give you the logo source files It will create a Facebook cover for you uh, Brand style guide profile and app icons business card designs and letterhead designs. So if you're legitimate uh, And serious about your business then 65 bucks for all that. It's not a bad price at all. Okay, and Then they've also got an enterprise um, level at $175 uh, everything in this designer package or everything in here and uh, now what are they claiming up to 10 fully original concept created by our design team so they've got a design team there that you can go and talk to uh, who will help you out creating a logo um, I guess that's not such a bad deal to get some one-on-one -on -one support and um, get yourself some original concepts but let's go and have a little look down here quickly. So they're just really full copyright included for use in commercial and personal projects, which is quite cool. Okay, so the copyright will be included in, in the deal. Create a new logo. Okay, so it goes create my logo. Okay, so there's the pricing. Okay, basic $25, designer $65, enterprise $175. Okay. So let's go back. I'm going to show you on the inside. Now I'm as much of a newbie as anybody else on this site, but let's go and see what Brandmark can do for you. Okay, so I'm going to just click this create my logo. And it says, what's your brand name? Okay, now, if you saw just a few minutes ago, all right, I showed you that Namelix will come up with business name generous and you can get your brand name from here. Okay, so um, I was, you know, we're in the process of making a brand. Um, so let's see what it can actually do for you. Okay, so let's let let's play with Cyber Buddies. Okay. And then it's asking you for a slogan. Now you might get stuck on a slogan, all right? But simple stuff um, is best, short, sweet as, as possible. So let's put support and encouragement. Uh, I think what I did was every day. You could change every day to daily if you want. Okay. So that's a nice short little phrase that, you, that I'm going to use for this one. So let's go to the next stage and it says, what are your brand keywords? Okay, enter a few words that describe your brand. So what's the brand going to do? Okay, so uh, Cyber Buddies is, is about marketing. It's about, and I just hit enter there to get that one in there. Marketing, collaboration, uh, cooperation. Um, 
what else is it about? Marketing, collaboration, cooperation. Uh, let's go, let's let's do it. It's all online. Oh, let's see what else it can do with this. Let's go online. You can put as many many keywords. We'll we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, but you can put as many keywords in there so that it will work out what your logo is going to be all about so let's click next now it's asking you for a color style what color styles do you want to play with um, I'm going to use this nice simple color style that'll do me you can do high contrast stuff if you really want it to ping in your eyes you can use dark dark backgrounds etc etc um, okay so a nice simple one let's go to the next stage and away it goes and it's starting to generate logos and it is fast okay i'm on a super slow machine and here we go now that one looks a little bit washed out okay but i quite like that there's a logo ab above it so okay now to go to the other ones along here on the right hand side you simply click on it okay and that one not too bad let's just keep clicking away okay I quite like this one this one's pretty cool all right we'll, we'll, we'll click away we can you can go backwards just click on the left hand side of them okay so I quite like this cyber buddies here I might come back to that one in a minute so we can play a little bit more with it and I'll show you how uh, cyber buddies uh, not so much on that no that's not right uh, okay the logo is a little bit I quite like that one I like the little logo that's on here that's quite cool it's got a dark one that's very very dark you, uh, you definitely need to go and play with it cyber buddies nice strong simple and then it's got lots and lots and lots okay so we'll just click along here uh, here we go there's another one with a little logo there if you want it okay and you can just click along and it will continually okay give you ideas for your logo all right and it just goes on and on and on and on and on ah that one's quite quite cool don't like the colors so much okay so let's have a little play so just below here uh, you can save it if you want to if you're logged in and I, I'm not logged in at all I'm just here as a guest so let's go and edit this cyber buddies and let's see what we can do um, right okay so the name is right okay so you can change all of these okay so the name is cyber buddies you can actually go to the slogan change the, the slogan if you want to okay um, you can add an icon so you can browse icons let's browse an icon let's see if we can find an icon which is suitable uh, and you can do a search in the icons as well lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of choices here mostly microphones and stuff let's see if it's got let, let's let's try the search let's let, let's see where we go let's go for hands and let's search it for hands okay there's some hands what about shaking hands there we go there's a nice one there another nice logo there and where are we going to let's let's choose this one just just for fun okay so there we go now it's put the hands above I'm guessing that we can uh, move it around you, not on this particular one you can't so it's a little bit weird uh, do I want to edit the color well, we can add it, edit the color on there it'll change it can you see it changing as I'm moving it okay all right or you can go green if you like and again we can make it darker lighter play about as much as you like with it okay let, let's 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 go with the green theme for now okay so let's find a green that'll be okay that'll be okay and then you can save it okay so that's saved 
okay and just click off of it and it'll see it like that and uh, you can change the background color if you want to white at the moment i tend to going to keep it white anyway and then it goes on the layout um here now this is interesting because at the moment you can see the layout is that the the little icon is above it and the writing is underneath but you can move it the other way around move it to the left i quite like that on the left on the right and you can do it a bit weird there i don't particularly like that one but uh, I quite like that one it's nice it's all on one line if you like okay so let's go back to the name now we can change the colors okay this looks like a gradient color here for me um, do we want to make cyber buddies a little bit bigger let's see can we make it a little bit bigger let's make cyber buddies okay yes it'll make it nice that's okay like that I don't like the color of the gradient okay so let's go and see what gradients we can play with so we've got this one so it's going from this weird dark bluey color okay so I'm going to change that uh, well actually we're in the greens and we let's play with the greens okay so there's a gradient there uh, let's make it let's make it green like that okay and it's going to this brown horrible color uh, let's go from green to uh, let's go from green to blue purple let's see what it does with the red it goes a bit weird with the red okay we'll just move it up here let's see what we like it does a bit of a weird one okay as I said, we're only playing. Um, we'll save it like that for now. Click off of it, it comes back like that. You can also do the same thing with the slogan. Okay, uh, it's nice and central at the moment. It's in this blue color at the moment. So let's make that a weird green. Let's make it green like that. Okay, you can choose gradient. Okay, let's just save it okay and you can also make it a little bit bolder and you can change boldness let's make it a little bit bolder so it stands out a little bit more here we go it's a little bit bolder okay you can also change the font size that's on on the slogan itself as well so let's make it a little bit bigger oh there we uh yeah quite like that it's easily readable okay and you can do all sorts of stuff with this logo creator now do i like that as a logo probably not but i'm just like, like i said i'm showing you how much um or how many choices you have on pretty much every single piece of this uh, we can go back to the icon the icon i don't like that green anymore i'm going to make it a little bit darker okay um it's got a spacing in here uh left spacing i wonder if it'll oh yes we can move it like this okay so left that's a little bit better okay so it's closer to it all right and that is just about it okay so now we can close the editor and it'll take it like that that there you go you 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 can actually see it all right and you can then from there if you want to go and purchase it okay and it'll just bring you back to the pricing that was there before okay so the, it's nice and easy to do okay but I'm going to show you that if you click on it okay it'll actually bring it into a large screen like this for you okay and down below here it'll also show you some other options that you could use your logo or branding on okay and it gives you all the brand colors here I'm guessing you could probably keep all of those 
okay so from here um, okay well let's let's play a little bit more with this quite like it do I want to change things in it I uh, don't know possibly um, like I said if you want to get all your copyrights done and everything else then I you know go ahead and uh, buy the logo if, if for your needs I'm going to do a little bit of a cheat for you right now okay I'm going to print this screen okay and I'm going to show you how you can further manipulate this before you choose to uh, purchase your logo. Okay, so I'm going to bring up uh, another program that I use called Paint.net. Okay, and you saw me take a screenshot. So let's go and open that screenshot. Let's have a look in here. Should be in here. Okay, let's widen that out. We don't. We don't need it in a, in a single thingy with Bob. Let's pull them out. Okay, and the screenshots are normally saved at the bottom. So there it is there. So I'm going to open it up. Okay, so bring it into paint.net. Yeah, I quite like it. Okay, and uh, now you can do silly things in here as well. All right, where we can uh, maybe do this. Let's see if that is suitable. Yeah, we'll play with that like that. You can go in paint.net. Okay, it's a free uh, image tool. Crop to the selection. There we go. Image. We're going to resize it. Resize it to what? Uh, well, I don't. I'll, I like 1280. So let's do a 1280. There we go. And if you really want to, you can go. And do silly little things like this we'll go and paintbrush it okay we'll paintbrush there okay we'll paintbrush all of this we'll paintbrush that little bit and lo and behold you've got the logo to play with okay so that's a little bit of a cheat would i use that method not really okay but it is a method where you can get silly little things done very very quickly all right so let's go back here so like I said uh, let, let's go and try and get a new logo done actually it's gone into the app so let's go back to Brandmark Brandmark I think is a great little tool for entrepreneurs small businesses all that kind of stuff I think it's great Go and try it out for yourself. You can try it out for free. All right. Go ahead and try it out as much as you like. All right. Uh, and if you like what you see and you like the logo that you've created, then go ahead, buy the logo, get it copyrighted, and you're good to go. Well, that's pretty much it as an introduction to Brandmark. Uh, if you need any more help, if you want any other suggestions, to play with or even if you want me to actually go into brand mark and create the logo for you go ahead give me a shout and i'll speak to you soon